I want to start this by saying that if the quality looks weird, I have a new camera and I'm trying to figure everything out. Hey everyone, my name is Jay and I am back to making videos. It is 2017 and I'm going to start off by doing my annual resolution slash goals video. 2016 was a year of totally overreaching and trying to do too many things. I set up 10 goals for myself. Uh, 2015, I set up five goals and it was just too much. So I will leave a link to the video down below of my uh, video from last year. But just in case you don't want to watch it because it is quite a long video, um, I will go over the 10 goals that I intended to set out for myself for 2016. Number one was be a minimalist and I think that worked really well. I got rid of an intense amount of things in my room. I was a self-proclaimed hoarder and now I've gotten rid of so many things and I feel a lot happier. Uh, my shelves have really kind of cleared out and everything's kind of clear in my room so yes. Number two was get 500 subs. That didn't work out. Oops. Probably because I only posted like less than 10 videos in 2016 so let's change that for 2017. Number three was exercise more by doing a Disney marathon. That didn't work out either. Um, like a fourth into the year, I realized that I didn't, I wouldn't know my schedule um, in advance for school. So I couldn't like set up a Disney marathon because you signed up for that months in advance. So that didn't work out unfortunately, but hopefully one day I will do a Disney marathon because it looks so much fun. Number four was fold my bed and declutter every night because things just kind of pile up throughout the day and I need to clean up. the. Ooh, I burped. <laughs> the folding the bed part didn't work, but I did try to declutter my room as best as I could. Number five was write something good that happens every day. And this is just one of those like mental happiness stuff to kind of end your day with. Um, that worked out for the first couple of months and then I kind of stopped. But if it's only because like I journal every night and it was just too many things to do at once because I was like writing in my journal, I was reading like my Bible verse book and then I was writing something good every night and it was just a lot of things for like a, a nighttime routine. But if you are not journal journaling every night, I highly suggest doing that. I just had like a quick little notebook that I had uh, in my room and then I would just write one small thing that happened that was really nice. Let me give you an example. Okay, so this was my little notebook. Is it focusing? <laughs> How bad would it be if like this whole video was out of focus the entire time? It looks good. So this was like my little list that I had. I went up to um, 86 days. So for the first 86 days, it was going real well. Um, let's see. Number four, the guy at Barnes and Noble thanked me for not opening the calendar I was exchanging and for keeping it in good condition. See, and that made me happy. And sometimes like if I was feeling bad on a certain day, I would look back and see kind of like those small little things that made me happy through that, like that one day. And it kind of boosted my happiness. And I think that's like really, really helpful. So if you're not journaling, I actually really suggest doing this because at the first 26, 26, first 86 days I was doing it, it really helped. And number six was go to therapy. That didn't work out either, but I did take steps into um, trying to set up an appointment to go to therapy, so to halfway there. Number seven was get back in touch with my religion. And I don't know what was up with 2016, but that was like the least amount of times that I went to church. So that's 2017, I'm, I'm coming for you, really, I am. Number eight was finish a novel. Oh, oh, I just, wow, that didn't work out either. Um, the last half of the year, I was writing more. I was taking strides to write more because I, I miss writing so much. So hopefully 2017 is my year. Number nine was read 50 books. Okay, so in 2015, I read 22 books and I was so disappointed in myself. Um, so I strived to read 50. I ended up reading 33 or 34 in the last year, which was fantastic. Um, the first half of the of 2016 was just awful. I did not read that much, but the last half I was reading like a maniac. It was awesome. Um, so hopefully I'm going for 50 books again this year. And number 10 was start a food slash travel channel. And that was one of the things that worked out. I was not posting regularly on that channel, but I will. I will. It 
but it was fantastic like setting everything up and posting videos and it was it was wonderful all right moving on to my goals for 2017 i am start i'm going with five this year five because 10 was too much I'm insane. So my first goal is to upload a video every week. Now for the past two years, I have been setting up goals uh, for, with myself for like sub count instead of, you know, uploading on a consistent basis. And I'm gonna switch things around this year because obviously the first two years that was not working. So let's do something different. Instead of focusing on sub count, I wanna focus on posting quality and quality content and posting consistently because um, that's one of the main things about being a YouTuber is to post every week or so. So I will be posting every Monday. This is gonna go up late because this is a video mainly for myself, but um, I will be posting every Monday around like 12, one-ish maybe. And then if I can post a second video um, along the week, that would be wonderful. That's probably on Fridays too. And then for my Rami and Jay, my food travel channel, um, I will be posting Wednesdays. So for sure, I will be posting on this channel Mondays and then my second channel Wednesdays. Let's do this. Number two is finish a novel and I need to be more specific. That's the one thing that you need to always do when you're setting goals for yourself is to be specific. So I will be writing at least one page every day. That's, that's all I'm asking for myself is to write one page every day. And I have been outlining a bunch for this novel, so this is wonderful, this is excellent. Um, if you want like progress videos for like my writing um, like process, please let me know. I know that um, there's another YouTuber that I watch that posts like book writing videos every once in a while, so I might start doing that. I don't know, we'll see. Number three is read 50 books. I'm gonna set up this uh, goal for myself again because it was actually really cool to read all those books for the first time in so long. I read so many books. Um, if you are looking to set up like a reading goal for yourself as well, um, I am on Goodreads and I didn't know about this like previously, but like they have this thing where you can set up like a, a goal for yourself through the year. So mine was 50, so I put in 50 and then you can track your progress along the way. I highly suggest like joining Goodreads because it is a fantastic way to keep track of how many books you've read. Number four is to drink more water. I am awful at drinking water. I can't, I can't do it. I just can't. So I will be doing that by keeping a water bottle, like a gigantic, not a gigantic one, but like a fairly sized water bottle with me at all times if I am out and about. But if I am here at home, I will be keeping like a pitcher of water with me so that I don't have to keep like going to the kitchen and getting more water because I am lazy. And number five, no more watching YouTube videos to get to sleep. I don't know why like the last half of 2016 I needed to watch like a YouTube video in order to fall asleep which is weird um and it just messed up my eyes like my eyes were tired all the time and um my nighttime routine where like I would journal every night was just like wrecked I didn't journal that much in 2016 maybe that should be one of my goals but um it just, I don't know why. So let's stop watching YouTube videos because that is not like stop watching YouTube videos, but just like trying to get to sleep. I'm not going to watch YouTube videos because uh, they say that you're not supposed to like look at any electronics like before you go to bed because then your brain will think that you're supposed to stay up. So, mm. okay, so that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I have a brand new camera, like I said, so I'm still trying to figure things out, but this is exciting, exciting. I'm taking steps to really focusing on uh, my YouTube channel. So fingers crossed for 2017. All right, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you soon with a brand new video. Bye. Side note, if some of my other videos that I will be posting are like kind of bad quality, it's